Hi guys, I am here with my 2023 year in review for Diamond Painting. And here I am starting off with my first completion of 2023. This is Capture the Sky by Yume Art from Diamond Art Club. It is a 22 inch by 33 inch canvas or 56 centimeters by 84 centimeters. It is absolutely gorgeous. Definitely one of my favorite completions. This had a total of 50 colors and four ABs. A lot of the ABs are down here near the girl on the outside, the white. Absolutely stunning. You can also see the blue ABs down there as well. There's also some pink ABs up here in the sky. Absolutely stunning. Definitely one of my favorite pieces that I've completed um, this year. I should also say, depending on how much of a stickler you are of starting um, in January, um, I actually started this on December 19th of 2022, and I finished on January 11th of 2023. So, but I did count this as a 2023 completion, um, and I love it, and it's, it's definitely one of my favorites. Um, it also sp kind of spurred my my love for Yume Art. I absolutely love all of her canvases and her designs. You will see a lot of her pieces completed by me. Um, and I have all of her other pieces just waiting to be done. And uh, I definitely love, love this canvas. Love this artist. One of my favorites. Absolutely. Continuing on, I have my second completion of 2023. This is Phases, also by Yume Art. So I did this one on 1-11-2023 and completed it on 1-24-2023. Um, I have to admit, this one, as much as I love Yume Art and I love this design, I don't like the way this was rendered. Um, I can show you guys really quick from my journal book. So, like, the, the picture, like, I feel like it should have been, like, darker and not as red. It's very red, and I personally wasn't a fan of it. I don't dislike it. I just, I mean, you can make an opinion of it. I just, I don't like it as much. It doesn't look bad, but it's not, definitely not one of my favorites. Honestly, probably one of my least favorite completions, but I do like it still, um... It is, again, by my favorite artist, Yume Art. This is a 20 by 30 inch canvas, uh, or 76 centimeters by 51 centimeters. This had a total of 43 colors and four ABs as well. This had a blue AB, which is prominent in the moon and in the sky. There's also white ABs, which are in the moon and in the girl. I'm trying to see right there. Those are white ABs. Um, there's oranges and reds that are over here. Overall, it's a very pretty canvas. I like it. I just don't love it. Definitely one of my least favorite. I think if the render was done differently, if I had made changes, because this was before I started making changes to my canvases, I think if I had made changes, I would have made it more darker at the bottom and less red. It doesn't look as, like, red as it is um in camera as it is in person and yeah it definitely isn't one of my favorites but it's still pretty nonetheless moving on we have our third completion of the year this i started on 210 finished on 227 this is promise of unity by ina morte from diamond art club it is a 22 by 28 inch or 56 centimeter by 71 centimeter it had a total of 26 colors, and four of those were ABs. This is actually my first time working with black uh, AB drills, which you can see up at the top in the roses. And in the eyes of the crows, I love the definition on all of it. You can see the, the black roses, and the, the crows really stand out as well. I was worried that they'd kind of get lost in translation, but you can see them so well. I love how the skulls, you can actually see them pretty detailed, her makeup, tears rolling down her face, absolutely stunning, beautiful render, um, I love the ABs that are on her corset going up right there, um, 
Where else was her ABs at? I'm looking for like the purple ABs. Because I know like down here is the blue ones and then the black ones up there. Oh, there's some purple right there in the heart. And then also the white ABs are down here in the like pearl ribbon that is surrounding her. And then up there in her necklace, very pretty. I love this one. Definitely one of my favorites. It's definitely like my style is like the darker like portraits. Um, I love all of these very much. This was one that I did for a Valentine's special and I really enjoyed doing it. Um, definitely one of my favorite finishes of the year. On theme we have another portrait like one. Um, this is Moon by Chris Bug. This is a 27.6 by 36.2 inch canvas or 70 by 92 centimeters. It was a lot of this like color blocky gradient, but honestly, it was absolutely so much fun to do. This had a total of 53 colors and six ABs. So a lot of ABs. Moon up there, the white ABs. Um, right here in her, her chest is a lot of the like yellowy ones. And the gradient part was, I think, the worst part of this canvas because it wasn't really like color blocky, as you can see. You can tell that it's like confetti heaven almost all the way around the canvas as it changed colors going up and it makes for a really pretty like overview of it. It looks really nice and I, I love how it's rendered, but the process of actually doing it was not as fun. <laughs> um, but it does make it look really nice um, when it's completed and she just looks so pretty. I absolutely love how she came out. And the moon is very well defined as well. I love the little stars peeking through the moon. That's behind her. Absolutely beautiful. I love this piece. Um, I worked on this. I started this on 124-2023. And I finished this on 3-9-2023. So it took me a little bit over a month to complete this one. But it was it was it was a lot of fun and it is absolutely stunning. So I also have a journal book that I was using to keep track of all of my completions. Uh, early in the year, it's less detailed. It's literally just the big sticker and the small sticker. I actually just added the dates in as I was doing my like post review stuff. But you will see as I continue on further, uh, it does get more in depth with like notes and stuff. So the first one was capture the sky. Second one was phases. The third one is promise of unity. And it says where I did start keeping a little baggie with one or two of each drill in my, my log book. Kind of as like a little overview. And I'm like, hey, look at all the colors that were in this kit. Like when you're looking at it, you're like, oh, they were purples. But I don't really like see like a lot of purpley colors when you're looking at the, the image. So this just gives me a little extra like preview into the kit without looking at it. Um, but I wasn't putting any other details in here yet. Our fourth one was the same way. Moon by Chris Bug. Just a little baggie with one of each drill. It's kind of a memory little book. This was also before I was saving my extra drills. Um, about a couple canvases later I did start saving all of my extras for uh, my any changes that I would want to make or if I ran out of a color which has actually happened a few times this year. So. My fifth completion for the year uh, was Each Tree Has a Soul by Othla Durchak from Diamond Art Club. This had 46 colors and three ABs and here is my little baggie of save drills. I started this on 3-5 and finished on 4-1. As you can see I started saving my little stickers in my, uh, in my log book um, with my fifth canvas, but I was not saving my extra drills yet. Now with this one, I feel like everyone has either seen this one or uh, has done this one, but it is an absolutely beautiful canvas. I love 
the wide range of colors with it. It has a full total of 46 colors and three of them are AB. So there's a pink, a yellow, and a green. You can see the pink ones and the top of the pink tree up here. The yellow ones and the yellow tree. And the green ones are in the green tree. Um, I really love how this came out. It's very pretty. It's not really like my style, but it's definitely one that I'm glad I did. Um, it had a decent amount of color blocking, a lot of different colors, and this was a nice little like bright taster for the spring that I really enjoyed doing. Um, I think it's absolutely pretty. Not, not really my style though. This is kind of when I was trying to find like what my my likes were. I'm not a big fan of like the landscapey like portraits uh, pictures, but um, I like portraits instead. But this one was definitely one that I I did like. My sixth completion is another one that I feel like everyone has either seen done or has done themselves. This is Sneaky Cat by Eva Zett. This has a total of 40 colors, three of them being AB. I started this one on the 1st of January as a group project and finished it on 410. And it is a very, very beautiful, colorful canvas, um, but it is definitely not one of my favorites. But it is... The largest canvas that I have completed to date at 42.1 inches by 20 and a half inches or 107 centimeters by 52 centimeters. And this was my sixth finish for the year. So there are a couple things about this canvas that made it not be one of my favorite completions of the year. It is absolutely stunning. I love all of the colors. Like I said, there was a total of three colors. A lot of them are the orange ones uh, here in the cat's eye. There's also some blue ones and some green ones, which you can see right there by the cat's eye as well. Um, but this kit was a lot of confetti, and I personally am not a huge confetti person. Um, I like a little bit of confetti, but this was a lot of confetti, and it was a massive piece, so it felt like it took forever to get done. It is an absolutely stunning, beautiful cat, though. Um, definitely one that I recommend everyone do. It's kind of one of those kits that you've either seen everyone do, or you've done it yourself, because it's kind of like a staple, I feel. So this was my sixth completion of the year. And it is an absolutely beautiful piece. So the next kit we have is my seventh completion and it is Dragon Attack by Jan Patrick Krasny. So I started this one on 410 and finished it on 423. This is a square drill, 30 inch by 20 inch canvas or 76 centimeters by 51 centimeters. Had a total of 45 colors, and three of them being ABs. There was white ABs that are here in like the dragon's flame. Um, there's purple that are up there in the like clouds beside the kingdom. Uh, and there are blue ABs down here in the like water that is melting the ice. I absolutely love this one. I actually did this one as a gift for my boyfriend on his uh, birthday. He absolutely loves dragons and his favorite color is purple. So this was just an absolutely fitting one. This one is going to go back downstairs and is going to go up in my boyfriend's office. I do like that you can see the castle in the background um, and all the ice details and the staircase. It's the details are absolutely shine through in the completed image because I know when you're like up close and working on it, you can't really tell all of the little nitty gritty details, but the way that it comes out when you're looking at it from afar is absolutely stunning. Um, the fire from the dragon definitely stands out as like a centerpiece. And then you see the knight um, fight, trying to fight the dragon. It's absolutely stunning. Definitely one of my most liked pieces of the year for like my completions, not for like my personal, but it was nice to give this one as a gift because like I said, my boyfriend loves dragons and uh, he really liked this piece. And here is a quick overview of my journal. Again, still keeping the stickers and one drill each. However, I still am not saving the uh, extra drills. Here is my eighth finish. This is Clementine by Pixie Sticks from Diamond Art Club. This is a 17 by 22 inch canvas or 42.6 centimeters by 55.8 centimeters. 
this is one that I would actually call a snack size for me. I usually don't do very many canvases that are smaller than this, um, just because I prefer the larger canvases. So this kit had a total of 23 colors, three of them being ABs. There was a yellow, a like peachy color, and a orange. So you can see the orange ABs and the actual little clementines. And the one up here by her eye has the yellows as well. Her fingertips also have the yellow ABs on them, which I thought was a really cute, cute touch. Um, the lighter orange color is, uh, the ABs are in her hair, the little highlights. Those are all ABs. Um, I absolutely love how this one came out. This is actually my first canvas that I did make some stylistic changes on. Um, the original render has these like little gaps. I think you can somewhat tell if you get closer. You can see how like in a couple spots the orange background doesn't carry on um, because it was supposed to be this like tannish color that's on the outside. I personally didn't like that. It was like that in a couple of spots um, around the border and I ended up just changing it to make a complete border and make it fully orange. I thought that it, the render looked a lot better that way, um, in my personal opinion. I, I thought the gaps didn't, like, made it look incomplete or like something was wrong. So I like how it went with uh, rendering it like this. Overall, this was just a very cute, like, little springtime, summer beginning piece. So I did start this one on 4-2-2023 and I finished it on for 26 2023 uh this thing sparkles so much i don't know if you can tell but this thing is so sparkly and so beautiful and absolutely adorable definitely one of my like brighter cute photos that i enjoyed doing this year back over to my journal you can see it's about the same uh info still saving the stickers and our little baggie of drills. Um, the next one is actually where I start saving my drills so you will see a change on that page. So for my ninth completion we are back to a familiar artist. This is Petals Fall by You May Art. This is a 40 inch canvas by 20 inch canvas or 102 centimeters by 51 centimeters. This had a total of 42 colors and two of them were ABs. So there was a pink AB as well as a yellow AB. Um, the yellows were in the flowers. Um, let me see if I can show you. So like right here, up in the flower centers. You can see all the pink ones. There was a lot of pink ABs, especially in the, the flower petals. Absolutely stunning. I love how her face was rendered as well. The flute was done amazing. Um, and I loved, of course, all the color blocking because, as I've said before, I absolutely enjoy color blocking. If I could do mostly color blocking, that would be my thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite pieces from this year. One of my larger ones too, that being a 40 by 20 inch. Um, but I absolutely love how it was all completely rendered and very stunning. And as I said, this is actually where I started saving my drills. So instead of having the stickers, I have them all handwritten out um, because I was putting the stickers on the baggies, but I still was keeping one of every drill color in a baggie um, as kind of like my thing, as like, oh, like I said, a little memory book. For my 10th finish of the year, we have Big Sis by Ivy Dolamour. This is a 22 inch by 28 inch canvas it, or 55.8 centimeters by 70.7 centimeters. I have to say one thing about this canvas, holy ABs, because if you love ABs, this is probably going to be one of the canvases for you. Um, I did actually make a few stylistic changes on this one. Um, up at the wall, up like here on the wall by the posters, there were butterflies and um, on the bookshelf here as well butterflies and stars that would have been like the um, little like glow in the dark things. I didn't feel like they translated well in the render and I ended up just taking them out and I feel like it looks better that way instead of leaving them in. I did have them in when I did it but then I took the drills off and replaced them. 
Um, also down here, we have our little uh, Pokeball. And uh, I know why they used the color that they did. It was like a light purple. And it's supposed to be because it looks like a shadow. But it made it look like it was supposed to be a red and purple Pokeball instead of that classic red white so i did make some changes there it's not like a bright white i didn't want like 3865 white so it is like an off white kind of yellowy color um i absolutely love all the details um also in this one i did make the moon on the little key cat's head you can't really tell but it is yellow abs um and there are no are there's no yellow abs in this kit um there are four abs in this kit so there is pink, which you can see in her hair. There is white, which is on her TV. There is also blue, which is almost the entire outline of the TV. Uh, and there is like a pinky purple, which is like the backside of her leg. Um, a little bit on her chest right there. Um, the magazine down here in the corner. Also has blue ABs. The cat has blue ABs. Like this, this game has had a lot of ABs in it. Her pillow up there is ABs. I love how this one was rendered. Definitely one of my favorites. Also one of my favorites because I actually got to work on it with one of my really good friends that I've met in this community. Shout out to Chelsea uh, if you're watching. I love you and uh, you're an amazing friend. And I actually have done a couple of other canvases with her as well that you will see uh, a little bit later. But yeah. Definitely one of my favorite renders. I love how this came out. I love the little heart on her sock as well. I just now noticed that. Honestly, I didn't see that before. But the little tiny heart on her sock is absolutely cute. Um, very, very pretty. I love all of the details that you can see. Um, and some of them, like, don't translate super well in the, um, like, render for the diamond painting. But you can see it in the actual art. And I will show you a picture of that now. So a couple things to note. Uh, the little Pokemon card down here. It's kind of hard to tell what it is in the actual diamond painting. But you can tell what it is down here. Additionally, these books here on the bottom shelf are uh, the Aragon series. Which I think is really cool. Like a little shout out. Also we have our, uh, our Sorge. Which I think is really cool. Because we all grew up on that. Yummy green soda, right? Very cool. And again, I did make the changes here so you can see the, the butterfly on the wall and then the little like stars that would have been the glow and dark. They just didn't render well, in my opinion, um, so I did leave them out. Um, we started this one on 3 6 and we finished on 6 13. It had a total of 61 colors, and you can see I did start. Handwriting. If I had them already in my journal, I just put the sticker in and we are still doing our little bag with one or two drills. So here is my 11th finish for the year. This is Daylight by Nana Key or Puffy Gator. This is a 17 by 20 inch canvas or 42.6 by 50.7 centimeters. This has a total of 51 colors and actually was one of my first kits that had a fairy dust drill. It actually also has two AB colors, um, a white and like a light blue. So here you can see the fairy dust drills right there, as well as the ABs. There's some more up here, fairy dust and ABs. Um, this one was completed for the Diamonds and Diversity event. Uh, I did section this canvas for 28 days, um, but I started it on 6-1, finished it on 6-23, so I didn't do um, and all 28 days. I ended up finishing it sooner, which is fine. Um, but I absolutely love doing this canvas. I didn't do it for any of the prizes. I didn't even submit the entry or ex exit forms for this one. It was just a fun event to kind of get me into the taste of doing events for the first time. Which was a lot of fun uh, on working on this one. I thought it was so cute. I actually had rainbow hair at the time. So when I saw this canvas come out, I was like, I have to have it because it looks like me. With my like cute little like rainbow hair. And it actually came out really nice. Um, this round drill kit sparkles a lot. Especially up at the top. 
The moon also has uh, ABs in it as well, which is absolutely stunning. Uh, I was very happy with this one. I did not make any changes on this canvas either. Over to my journal, you can see more details that I did do this for Diamonds and Diversity 2023. Here's my little baggie of drills and all of my handwritten charted uh, stuff for my 11th finish of the year. So there's that one. I do also need to preface my 12th finish with a little bit of a warning. Uh, this is a mystery kit from Diamond Art Club. This is mystery kit number 28, Landscape by Sandra Bergeron. Bergeron? I am sorry if I pronounced the name wrong. Someone will tell me uh, if I'm wrong or, or right. Uh, I started this one in 319 and I finished on 626, but I will be showing the image. So if you don't want to see that, um, I will put like a, a, a little thing like saying, hey, don't watch. Uh, and, and I will let you know when we're back. Um, you can skip ahead and I will put a timestamp in for when when you can come back if you don't want to see that one but if you do want to see this one here you go um and there are all the drill colors as well um with all the little stickers and everything so this had a total of 53 colors four ab's and it was a 22 by 26 inch canvas or 55.8 by 66 centimeter canvas and it was a square drill so i will show you all the canvas now so if you don't want it to be spoiled please uh skip ahead so here is the kit revealed. This had 53 colors, like I said, and four ABs. So there was a white, a red, an orange, and what was the other color? A yellowish, like green. So like right here in the flowers, you can see some of the ABs and the foliage beside it. You can see some uh, over here. There's more. It came out really pretty. I really do like how it came out. However, I did realize a couple of things. First thing, uh, I do enjoy doing mysteries. This was my first mystery ever from Diamond Art Club. Um, they weren't something that I was like really like seeking after. Um, I made a purchase and then this one was recommended to me at a discounted price um, to include in my order. And I, uh, I jumped on it as my first, land, uh, first mystery. Also my first like real like landscape. Um, so I really did enjoy the not knowing, um, although the image was uh, later on spoiled for, for me before I finished the canvas, which was a disappointment, um, uh, because, uh, Diamond Art Club also released this as a kind of like, hey, uh, we might put like the name of the kit on the box with the picture and someone posted it and I happened to unfortunately see it. So the picture was spoiled for me, which was a bit of a bummer. Um, and, uh. But I still like how it came out. However, it made me realize the second thing. Uh, I don't like landscapes. Nothing wrong with the artist or any landscapes that um, are out there. They're pretty to look at. Absolutely. I love, like, admiring them from afar. But me, myself, doing them uh, is a no. Um, I didn't enjoy this canvas um, as much as I have enjoyed doing, like, something with, like, portraits. Um, it definitely was not one of my, like, favorites to do. Uh... It's really pretty, like I said, but not one that I'm like, hey, uh, I want to do it again or I want to get another landscape like it kind of thing. But it is very pretty. I love the trees and the background, the house, the skyline, all the flowers. Um, it's rendered very nice. I know for like the longest time because I started here at the bottom, I couldn't figure out what this was and I thought it was a pumpkin, but it is actually just like a continuation of a step, I think. Um, but it, it confused me for like the longest time but uh the flowers came out really nice the steps came out really nice the house is really nice uh overall a really nice piece um like i said i started this one on 319 uh and then it was spoiled for me so i did put it away for a while because it kind of just made me mad to look at um just because i was so disappointed that uh, i didn't get to finish it myself before having the image seen um so i did finish this on 626 of 2023 um, I don't dislike it, um, but it's not going to be one that I hang in my home because I don't, I just don't like landscapes. So this would probably be one that I would gift to like a family member or a friend or something. All right. And if anyone was watching and, uh, they did not want to see the mystery, uh, welcome back for our 13th completion of the year. And the 13th is Storm Inside by Yume Art and Square Drill. 
you will notice uh, something similar later on. Um, you'll be like, wait, did I just, didn't I see that? I did actually complete this kit twice. This was uh, offered in round and square drill, and I did them in both. So you will see this canvas again, and I'll do kind of like a comparison. So this is our 13th finish of the year. This is Storm Inside by UMA Art. This is the square version. This was a 17.7 .7 by 26.6 inch canvas or 45 centimeters by 67 and a half centimeters. It had a total of 44 colors, two of which were fairy dust and two of which were ABs. You can see a lot of them ABs down here in the blue. There was also white ABs, um, which there's some right there, as well as over here. You can also see the fairy dust, kind of like purpley, like blue, like blue there. And up in through here, more ABs. Um, I love how this one came out. There was also blue fairy dust down here. Let's see if I can get it in the light to capture it. You can kind of see it. But overall, very pretty piece. I actually did, like I said, I did this one in two drill shapes, um, round and square. Um, I did one for me because I really like the um, I really like the instrument collection that uh, Yume has. It's definitely one of my favorite collections. Um, a reason why I also did a second one is one for my boyfriend. He loves drums, and uh, it was kind of a fitting thing to do one for me and one for him. So it actually worked out to do to do both shapes, um, even though some people may say that I'm crazy for doing a canvas twice. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the process, and this is definitely one of my favorites for the year. It's it's so pretty. I love how everything was rendered. The storm, the drums, the uh, way that her feet, you can see them through the drums, everything. It just came out so, so beautifully, and... Uh, I absolutely love it. The ABs are gorgeous and it is definitely one of my favorites for the year. Again, also from my favorite artists, so. My 14th completion of the year was Aerial Angel by Sarah Richter. This is a 27.6 inch canvas by 34.7 inch or 70 centimeters by 88 centimeters. So this was one of the larger ones completed for the year. I absolutely love the background on this. Um, it is very dark in certain spots, so there was like a lot of just like 939, 823s. Um, but it actually looks really nice. Um, the blues kind of like render really well. The clouds, the moon was full ABs, so there was a total of 49 colors in this kit and three ABs. Um, so there was white and purple ABs. You can kind of see both of them up there in the moon as well as on her knee. Um, and then there was also yellow ABs which are here and like the feathers of her wings. Absolutely stunning. I love the pink purple blue transition in her hair. Um, came out absolutely gorgeous. Um, I actually worked on this with another one of my friends of this community and uh, had a lot of fun doing it. Um, so we started this on 222, 2023 and finished on 722, 2023. And like I said, there is the artwork and you can see my journal again. I was saving drills in my middle, my baggie with all, uh, all my, one of my saved drills and, uh, so that was our 14th finish. We are about halfway through the year. My 15th completion of the year was another UMA art. Uh, this is a 20 by 26 inch canvas or 50.7 centimeters by 65.8 centimeters. This is a round drill kit that had 41 colors and four of which were ABs. This is actually my first time using these, um, these green ABs right here, which were really nice. There's also more blues and pinks and then there is also some yellows down here at the bottom i really enjoy doing this one um it's kind of like a companion piece to another one that uh you may has which is transparent and i love that one as well uh, i did that one in 2022 
and uh, it was actually one of my first pieces that I started posting content on for TikTok, and uh, now, now we're here. Um, I also did this one as a group project with my friend Chelsea that I talked about earlier, and had a lot of fun working on this one with her. Um, absolutely stunning piece. I love the usage of color um, and how he was rendered. The background just kind of being a blur, um, like you put on your headphones and you can escape from the the mess that is the outside world, uh, is kind of just a vibe that I, I very much relate to and I absolutely love this canvas. Um, definitely one of my most liked ones this year as well. Back over to my book, you can see I uh, started this one 615 and finished on 725. And we're still continuing on with saving our drills in our little baggie. So there's that. For my 16th finish of the year, I have Sugar Cookies from Diamond Art Club by Lily and Val. This is a 21 by 21.7 by 21.7 inch canvas or 55 centimeters by 55 centimeters. I started this one on 8-1-2023, sorry, um, and finished it on 8-14-2023. Uh, I actually started this one when we went on vacation. Uh, we took a kind of spontaneous trip down to Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge. Like, I was live one night on TikTok, and then, like, we didn't end up going to sleep, but we left, like, the morning of and drove down to Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge, and we had a lot of fun down there. I didn't bring my light pad, but I did bring a diamond painting, and uh funny thing about this one is uh, you really can't tell, but I did mix two colors on this, uh, and I was so dark in the hotel room I couldn't actually tell the difference between the two so I just said eh, screw it instead of uh actually trying to separate them so um I will tell you which ones that I mixed so the cookies down here um are comprised of mainly two drill colors um 738 and 739 yeah I mixed those together and uh I don't think you can really tell unless I told you <laughs> but it came out really nice I love doing this one. I plan to put this one in our kitchen eventually after I get a frame for it. Um, I love the little recipe that it has all the ingredients and, and directions that you need um, for the for the recipe. I thought it was so cute. Um, this one had 32 colors in total and it had one special drill so it was a white AB. So a lot of the white directions, not all but most, of the white directions are actually this white AB color which shines so beautifully. The bowl stands out with that nice blue and purple color. It is absolutely stunning in person to see and uh, honestly one of my favorites completions. Um, this would have been one of our last completions that I finished before we left our, appointment, our apartment complex uh, and moved into our brand new house. Um, yeah. I had a lot of fun doing this one. I can say that I will always look back and remember doing this canvas uh, on vacation with my boyfriend. It was a, a nice trip and I really, really did have fun and appreciated uh, that whole time. So there is our journal page. For canvas completion number 17, I told you we would have a little bit of uh, <laughs> a repeat here. Uh, this is Storm Inside by You My Art. This one is in the round drill. So this is a 20 by 30 inch canvas or a 50.7 by 76 centimeter canvas. Same amount of colors as the last time as the square um, with 44 colors in total, two of them being ABs, two of them being fairy dust. It is all rendered exactly the same. Um, so it looks identical to the square drill one. Um, I will insert a picture so you guys can see kind of them two by side, side by side. Um, um, for like a brief like comparison, I will say um, the square is smaller. It looks a lot like tighter and cleaner um, in my opinion. That made me realize too that I prefer if an image is in square. Although I don't really like if an image is in round, I won't like not get it because it's round. Um, if I like an image enough, I will just get it because I like it, not because of the drill shape. Um, but this one is going to be the round one that goes to my boyfriend because uh, it was. Of the two, it was my second favorite. Uh, I did like how the square was rendered better. Um, the only thing with the square, it does not sparkle as much because this one um, compared to the square, 
sparkles a lot. Like it, the drills just happen to catch the light so much better with the round drill than the square drill. And that's because of the spacing. There's more um, light to reflect, um, more space to reflect the light of, off the drills. But all in all, it came out really pretty. I really like both of them, but the square is definitely my favorite uh, among the two. And over here in my journal, not much has changed. Still the same thing. For my 18th completion of the year, we actually have a new company. This is Oceans Away from the Mermaid Cavern. This is a 55 by 95 centimeter or a 21.65 by 37.4 inch canvas. It had a total of 60 colors, three of which being ABs. Although I do think that she did change the uh, way that this was rendered or where the ABs may be placed um, in future ones. Um, I, I did sign up to trial one of the test kits for this one, so this may not be the final render, but I definitely had a lot of fun doing this. Um, so I started this kit on 9.13 and I finished it on 9.26. So for the render, it came out really well. I love all the details, all the colors. It was definitely a lot of confetti. Um, and one, um, I will say one major thing that I had, um, you can probably tell, the, the way her chest looks, um, it's very uh, pixelated. So if you go up close, you can tell that these are all like interspersed with ABs, um, which from afar and at a specific angle look really nice. So like that angle doesn't look half bad, but when you come at it like direct on, it kind of looks bad. <laughs> um, so down here also in the shell and in her hair, um, you have these um, purple ABs. So there's 208 and 550. Um, for the AB colors and then there is 818 which is in her skin it looks really nice I, I like the image when I'm looking at it from afar but if you get like close to it, it it kind of deteriorates for me I have to say her hair is one of my favorite parts of this piece um, I love the blue pink purple gradient kind of thing um, similar to Ariel Angel kind of deal um, but this was definitely one of the uh, most fun that I've had working on a kit. Um, I was able to provide my feedback um, as one of the first like trials for the kits and uh, influence the brand a little bit um, and share a pretty cool new brand. If you guys want to check them out, they do have a bunch of new designs, um, so be sure to check them out. They have their own website. It's the Mermaid Cavern, and they're, they're pretty cool. I, I like all their designs. Um, and this is definitely one of my favorites um, that I got to trial out. Also, it did come with a big sticker and individual stickers. Um, with this one, I did not keep any of the drills except for the ABs. So I did put a pretty large bag of the extra drills in my journal. Just as kind of like a, a way to look and see, hey, those are all the colors that are in there. But they're very pretty and I like it. Next up, my 19th finish, we have Tea Time Spell by Chrissa Bug. And you can see that all the stickers have somehow made it back into the journal. This is actually after we moved into our new house, and I got my new wall-mounted storage from Art Dot, and I am saving all of my drills instead of in the baggies in the, um, the uh, wall-mounted circle storage, which I will show you now. Um... I also did have my, my little baggie with all my drills. Well, as a very quick overview, and kind of like an aside because it's not really relevant to my year in review, I do have all of my drills saved in these Art Dot storage. Um, I have round and square saved, and I just use little sticker labels from Timu to label all my extras, and as I get extras from new kits, put them in. As you can see, some of them are still empty and waiting to be filled, but I got a fair amount for both round, including all of my specialty drills, which do keep the uh, Diamond Art Cub stickers, and just normal drills. So here's my 18th finish in the Diamond Art version. You can see a little bit of a mishap um, that I had when I was sectioning this canvas. Um, 
I did mark through to the canvas with pen so you can see through in a couple of spots where there is a pen line. Um, kind of sucks and there's nothing much I can really do about that. I tried to get it off and uh, didn't quite work out, but it's fine. I still enjoy the canvas for how it looks and how it was rendered. Um, again, this is Tea Time Spell by Chrisabug. This is a 22 by 28 inch canvas or 55.8 by 70.6 inch, 70.6 centimeter canvas. Um, it had a total of 65 colors, three of which were ABs and two of which were fairy dust. A lot of the ABs took up um, in here. You can see the green ABs and the white ABs in the window. Um, fairy dust down here. No, ABs here too. You can see some of the fairy dust up here in her her hat. See if I can get it to focus for you. There you go. So there's some fairy dust up there. As well as The other fairy dust. I was like, where are the other fairy dust? Um, right here in the window. These like light blue. Those are fairy dust as well. And then here also is some of the gray ABs as well. But overall, definitely one of my favorite completions. Um, I did do this one for uh, November. No. September 1st through October 11th. So this was kind of a nice uh, little moving treat. Uh, we did start this one when I moved uh, and this was my first, second completion in the new house. I did have the one from the Mermaid Cavern, which was my first completion in our new house. Another thing I should notate for this one, I did uh, have this canvas as my kit that I did for drills and chills. Um, uh, again, it's another done painting event, but I did not, uh, enter for the prizes in this one either. Um, I just enjoyed kind of doing it and, uh, have, have fun doing on this canvas. Uh, so it was, it was a great time. So for my 20th completion of the year, I have Deliberation by Mario Sanchez Nevada. This is a 27.6 by 27.6 inch canvas or 70 by 70 centimeters. This had a total of 37 colors and two ABs. So there was a yellow and an orange AB that was in the center. Um, I did do this one on 10 2 2 and finished on 11 10. Um, I personally did this one in the month of October for Domestic Violence Awareness Month. I've seen a lot of people relate this one, this canvas to a couple of things. Um, one of them is either mental health um, or physical, like uh, ailments like a fibromyalgia, like hidden illnesses that people can't see. For me personally, um, I did this for Domestic Violence Awareness Month, which is in the month of October. For me, uh, it is a very important thing. It signifies the uh, rebirth of your old self that was collapsed and burnt out and broken into a bright, beautiful, new, glowing new person that you could be. And, um, for me, this was really important because I did get out of an abusive relationship. Um, and for me, this was a very uh, important canvas for me to complete during the month. One thing I do have to say about this canvas, it was a lot of confetti. So I don't know if you can tell how much um, confetti it is throughout. Not a lot of color blocking at all. Um, just a little bit. But most of it was confetti. And especially up there at the top. It, it did take a while to get this one done, so I didn't get it done um, as quick as I wanted to, but it did take a while, and I enjoy it, enjoyed every bit of it, and I love the process and how it came out. Absolutely stunning. Definitely one of my favorite pieces of the year because it symbolizes so much importance to me um, in terms of, like, growing as a person and how I feel now, and I feel brand new and renewed um, from what I used to be unhappy and now I'm free. Um, and here is my journal book with 
my little baggie of drills. So my 21st finish is actually my only one that I have framed. So the um, pictures and video will look a little bit different here in a minute. Um, I started this one on 11-14 and finished on 11-16. And I did this for mine and my boyfriend's two-year anniversary. Um, I actually fell in love with this canvas because it looks very similar to the tattoo that I have with um, me and my boyfriend. Um, we have a tattoo with the day that we got together and uh, the symbol for our unconditional love. Um, and just the colors of the canvas with blues and purples and greens at the top melding into the reds and the oranges at the bottom definitely spoke to me and I love doing this canvas. I got this one done pretty quickly. Um, this is Melting Earth by Cushing Kiesel and I probably butchered that name and I apologize if I did. Um, this is a round drill canvas and it is a 20 by 28 inch or 50.7 by 70.6 centimeter and it had a total of 58 colors and one fairy dust in 40 bees. And here is the 21st finish. Like I said, it is the only one in a frame. And it is super sparkly and super pretty. And the ABs, uh, the white ABs compile the entire deer. And there's also some more ABs up here, as well as in the sky up there. It's very pretty, and like I said, it does match our tattoos. So I do love this one. Canvas number 22 of the year is Witch Bedroom by Miss Butter D. This is a 17 by 24 inch canvas or 42.9 centimeter by 60.7 centimeter. This one had 60 colors and three of which were ABs. So as you guys can tell, there is a lot of pink. Um, um, in this kit, there are a yellow AB, which you can see there's yellow, white, and like a light pink. And they're all kind of throughout the canvas. I didn't make any changes to this one. I thought this one was really cute by itself. Um, this was intended to be my live kit during the Joes and Chills event. Uh, but unfortunately, it didn't happen that way. Just because life kind of got in the way. So coming over to my journal, I did start this one on 10-2 and finished on 11-21-2023. Uh, same way with the journal and my little baggie of drills. For my 23rd completion of the year, we have Whimsical Winter by Hannah Lynn. This is a 27.6 by 35 inch canvas or 70 centimeters by 89 centimeters. This had a total of 45 colors and two ABs. There was a blue, white, and a green. Um, the majority of the ABs are up here in the trees. And the greens are here in her eyes. I really love how this canvas came out. Um, this is actually one of my longest plan kits that I had in my rotation. Um, I did this kit, uh, started on November 21st, 2023, and I finished it on December 7th, 2023. Um, but I actually purchased this one back in January of 2023 after I had found out about the event that actually I used this kit to participate in, which is, um, jingle drills um so i've had this kit um since january to save save the size so that i could do it this year for jingle drills because i had found out like right at the end actually about the event and uh this was actually my first event this year that i participated in and entered in for the prizes uh i really do love how this canvas came out the top part was a lot of confetti as i'm sure you can tell but the the trees came out absolutely beautiful um, I only did make one change down here at the bottom. Some of these like brown on the rocks, there were a couple of spots where they were like orange, like the fox color. And I didn't like that. I felt like it kind of messed with the vibe. Um, so I did change those to the same brown that is down there. And I feel like it looks really nice, um, with that change. I love the vibrancy of her hair and the green of her dress. I love the foxes and how vibrant they came out. Um, overall, definitely one of my favorite kits. Um, I love the artwork. Hannah Lynn isn't really one of my favorite artists, but I really fell in love with this piece and it was definitely one of my favorite completions 
of the year for sure. Um, and then over here I did have a little bit of like decoration because like I said this was um, one that I did for an event that I actually entered so I, I did mark that I completed it on December 7th and I did it for Jingle Drills and that there was a lot of confetti in the trees. Um, I have all my stickers and my little baggie of drills and I just decided to put in a little Santa down here because I thought he was cute and fitting for the theme. My 24th completion of the year was Moon Goddess by Sarah Mustafa. This is a 22 inch squared canvas um, or 56 centimeters squared. Um, this had a total of 42 colors and four ABs. Absolutely beautiful canvas. This is one that I've been uh, wanting to get for a long time and I actually uh, found through D-Stash. Um, the person that I bought it from uh, actually already had it kitted up and didn't start it and I was like, yeah, I'll take it. Um, but I didn't end up getting all the drills that I needed so I did have to get some for my stash and then I ran out again and then get some for my friends and I still ran out and then I bought some and then I ended up running out of another color and had to wait so I actually just finished this one a couple of days ago. Um, I had, had it finished except for the color 814 but I ran out of a bunch of other colors 9, uh, 939, 823, and 3865 which is the majority of the white the dark blues. Um, so yeah, this was kind of a nightmare of a canvas for me, honestly. I love it, and it was one that I really was excited to do for a long time, but I do have to admit it definitely was not as enjoyable as it should have been because of the experience. But that's the, the dice that you roll when you buy a D-Stash. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But in this case, I was able to get through it and um, it turned out really well. I love how the canvas looks itself. It is a beautiful image. Um, absolutely stunning. I love her hair. I love the moon. I love the ABs. Um, there are several ABs in her hair. You can see right there. Um, there's blue ABs right here. The yellow ABs and the like meteors, the yellow and orange ones. Absolutely stunning. I love this kit. It does sparkle a lot. It is a round drill. Um, but yeah, so this one actually has uh, multiple companies worth of uh, drills I've used. Um, ones that I got from my friends from DAC, the DAC drills that came with it. Uh, Diamond Drills USA came in uh, definite need to get some extra drills on this kit. Um, and I also used some of my drills from Art Dot. So it has gotten drills from almost all over the place. Um, but it came out beautifully. I really love how the cam canvas came out in total. Um, but it definitely was a bad experience with the D-Stash for sure. But I still enjoy it. But uh, since a lot of the drills were uh, either ran out, I didn't end up saving a little baggie. On my page I also only have the small sticker not the big sticker but I plan on reaching out to DAC to see if they can give me um, a big sticker so here are my dates of start and completion I received it on 11 17 2023 and as soon as I received it and I had all the baggies and some of them were loose um, and spilled out everywhere I'm like okay we're gonna kit this up and start it um, I ended up finishing it on 12 13 but I had ran out of DNC 814 like I said and uh, so I ended up just finishing that a little bit ago, um, like a couple days ago, with uh, the last little bit of 814 that I got from a friend. Uh, shout out to my friend Brandy and to my friend Sammy for sending me drills for this kit, as well as Diamond Drills USA for their fast shipping to get me some extra drills as well. Um, those ended up being the only stickers that I saved. I ended up just using my, uh, my stash drills to do this kit for the most part, <laughs> so... So the next completion that we have is Artist Room by Miss Butter D. This is a 17 by 21 inch canvas or a 42.6 centimeter by 52.7 centimeter canvas. This had a total of 46 colors and three of them were ABs. So there was a green, a pink, and a white AB. And I will show you where the drills are now. So there's a bunch of the white AB up in the clouds in the window. Green AB is in the foliage leaves. And there is pink AB in her hair and in the uh, scarf that is hanging off of her, her jacket. I feel like one thing you probably could change if you wanted to make an adjustment, which I'm thinking about now, 
is changing the yellow that is on the canvas and making it fairy dust and making all of the um, colors on that ABs. That would be a really cool change to make to this canvas if I was going to change something. However, I did follow this one exactly to key. I started this kit on 12-14 and I finished it on 12-17. This one was kind of impromptu. This one was not planned at all. Um, I started this kit of this one up with some friends um, that were going to start this kit and I was like, hey, I have that kit. Can I join? And we all kind of did this kit together and it was a super fun uh, time and I had a really great time. Shout out to Gabby, Diane, and Sammy. You guys are amazing. I love you all. And uh, I had so much fun doing this canvas. It's super cute. Um, I love this artist as well. And this was definitely a nice little snack size canvas, as I would say, um, as a nice little like refresher. And uh, it really made me happy to work on and have a great time with some friends. Over to my journal, we have, again, same, same stuff, uh, and then our little baggie of dress. For our next to last completion, our 26th for the year, we have a kit from Art Dot, which is actually their butterfly canvas. This is their advanced size, so this is a round drill canvas that is 26 by 13 inches, or 66 centimeters by 33 centimeters. This has a total of 35 colors and three ABs. Absolutely beautiful. If you guys did not know, I am actually a brand ambassador for Art Dot. So I was sent this one free for review and for promoting their products. I did enjoy working on this kit. I did have a couple things that really kind of annoyed me. Um, the fact that the fives and the S's were both red. Um, as you can see from the key here, 321 is 5 and 666 is S and I had a really hard time distinguishing the, between the two especially without a light pad but the light pad definitely did help as well as the magnifying lenses because uh, even though I have some pretty good vision uh, I wear glasses um, I still struggled a little bit so there was three ABs as I said and you can kind of see here there was this like yellowy green there was also this blue and there is another blue up here. Definitely very pretty. I enjoyed working on this canvas. I also really enjoy being a brand ambassador for Art Dot. I love all of their products. I use their storage, their light pads, and I am super excited to see where they go in terms of canvases. Um, they actually have new canvas designs out soon that I plan on promoting and uh, if you guys want to check out Art Dot in their storage and their light pads and canvases feel free to use my code Sierra for 10% off at checkout and uh, that'll let them know that I sent you and I hope that you guys love their products as much as I do. I definitely enjoyed working on this canvas and this one is actually going to go to my daughter because she is obsessed with butterflies so I really enjoyed working on this one. Um, these also did come with the little stickers. I don't have this one kitted down because I'm going to keep the little uh, drills except for the A14 and A15 because I use those um, in my <laughs> Moon Goddess kit that we, we just talked about a minute ago. Uh, I, I used those in that one uh, so I don't have any more of those left. Um, but they did come with little stickers and I do still have them kit up. The drills were almost all in really good quality. Um, the stickers didn't leave any residue on the jars, um, and they come with a little, like, sticker with all the information, including the SKU. Here's the information from, um, including the big picture from when I started it. I started on July 15th, and then it kind of got put on hold for a while, uh, until December 22nd when I finished it, because we, uh, ended up moving in September, and things kind of just went a little bit crazy for the last couple of months, but... I'm definitely happy to have finished this kit and to uh, promote their new products, for sure. For my last completion of the year, we have The Sugar Plum Fairy by Mandy Manzano. This is a 22 by 35 inch canvas, or 56 centimeters by 89 centimeters. This has a total of 45 colors and two ABs. There was a pink AB and a blue AB. Um, the blue AB ended up being up here at the top right and the pink is kind of interspersed throughout her dress i definitely enjoyed working on this canvas this was actually one that i started and finished as a group project with my friend sammy 
Um, she uh, is super amazing as well, and I had a super awesome time working on this with Canvas with her, and I can't wait to do more in the future. Um, this is actually my first piece by Mandy Manzano. Um, she's not usually my go-to artist, but I really did enjoy working on this kit. Um, this one is actually going to go to my daughter as well because of all the the fairy-esque -like net type uh, design with it and then the pinks. <laughs> she loves her pink. So, um, but I had a really good time working on this kit. Um, so I will give you the details for our work dates. So here is our little bag of drills. So this kit was started on 6-29-2023 and was finished on 12-27-23. And it was an absolutely fun experience. I had a great time working on this kit. Um, and I love how it came out. And I am super happy for such a great year with diamond painting. We ended up with 27 completed works. I do have one kit that I will show at the end that is in progress. Uh, and I am still working on. But it will definitely not be finished by the end of today. Um, but it is over halfway done. So... I will show you that now. So as a kind of honorable mention post, I have here Flower Delivery version 2 by Yume Art. This is a 27.6 inch by 40.2 inch canvas or 70 centimeters by 102 centimeters. As you can see, we're a little over halfway done uh, with this kit. Uh, I actually am doing a fun little uh, work with this uh, kit with my friend Chelsea that I mentioned earlier. We are actually both working on the same kit. However, I did mention I am working on version 2 of this kit, which happens to be the larger one with more colors. And she is working on version 1, which was the first version that came out that's a little bit smaller, uh, less colors, and um, not as crisp on the details. And we're going to do kind of a comparison at the very end to see um, the difference between the two. They are both still look amazing so far, but um, the bigger one obviously will provide more detail and uh, crisper imaging. Um, so version 2 does have 81 colors, and of those 81 colors, 4 are fairy dust. So there is yellow, blue, green, and a, another blue. There's also 7, yeah, 7 AB colors. Um, we have 106, 107, 124, 126, 129, 134, and 138. As you can see, there's a little big old color blocking section up here with a bunch of ABs and fairy dust. And it is absolutely stunning for what we have gotten done. I really have enjoyed the work on this canvas. And I cannot wait to see this one completed um, in the future. Uh, I plan to finish it in 2024, obviously. But we still have a little bit left to go, but not that much. Um, overall, I really enjoyed working on this kit. I've enjoyed making as many friends as I have over the, the past year with um, doing my diamond painting and growing uh, and meeting all of you amazing people. And I can't wait to do more of that in 2024. And I appreciate all of you for coming along on the journey. I have met so many amazing people um, through diamond painting and it has definitely gave me a safe place to be myself and meet so many amazing people. It helped me through my divorce with my abusive husband. And um, and it's just given me a great place to meet a lot of awesome people and have a lot of great friends. And I can't wait to see what 2024 brings. And I look forward to more. And I love you all. And I thank you so much for hanging out, watching this video, spending time with me. And if you are not already following and you would like to see more content, please feel free to hit that follow button. Or the subscribe button, depending on which channel we're on right now. Um, and I hope you all have a fantastic 2024. And I love you all. Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.